Hey, Too Big with Tony coming to you here from uh, St. Petersburg, Florida today. I'm here with Lucy Kitcher, professional player, instructor, tournament director, trapeze artist, just all around athlete. Uh, what we're going to work on today are a couple of things. I'm going to break this down into two separate videos. The first video we're going to work on today is we're going to work on, or we're going to show you Lucy's block volley. Um, we've done some work on that before in terms of the block volley and diffusing bangers. There's a video on that I'll link to below. Um, but Lucy Kitcher has one of the best block volleys in the game today. Man, woman, I don't care level, an amazing block volley. Uh, our friend uh, Jay Simonovis is going to feed her some balls or drive some balls at her and Lucy's going to block him and then I'm going to break it down. So I'll show it to you regular speed and then I'll show it to you broken down a little bit so that you can see how Lucy approaches the block volley and you can bring that into your game. So let's get into it. Before we get started, I want to thank Lucy uh, for giving up of her time to help us out with this video today. I think it's really helpful to have someone who's an expert in, a, in well, she's an expert in the whole game, but I want to focus on this one part for her to let us uh, see that part of her game and for to allow us to basically break it down so you can improve your game is really helpful. If you're interested in tournaments and clinics and things like that, Lucy has a fantastic series of tournaments and she also does uh, some basically trip clinics. Uh, I believe right now she has a, you're doing a, a merger of a tournament and a, and a, sorry, not a clinic, but a tournament and a trip in one uh, yes. package now, right? Yeah, and I do a lot of trips to Club Med and now we're gonna do a tournament in November at the Club Med in, in South Florida. Fantastic, so if you're interested in that, I'll link to it below, but it's 00stay.com, so the zero's written out, not numbers, so 00stay.com. Go there and check it out. It's some of the best clinics and tournaments that you'll be able to participate in with Lucy Kitcher. All right, let's take a look at uh, the volley in action here at Lucy's Volley. What we're going to see here is a few instances of the block volley we see from different sides, and then we're going to break it down into slow-mo and show you how to actually do this shot yourself. Let's look at Lucy's uh, preparation for the volley. First thing I want you to notice is how her weight is balanced. Her shoulders are over her toes, giving her a nice balanced position. Her paddle is ready and out in front, waiting for the ball. Uh, she's using her off hand here to assist the paddle preparation. Her left hand is helping basically hold the paddle stable. And her eyes are on the ball, so she's engaged and ready for the ball, and she's focused on what's happening, but at the same time, she's calm. Notice how her body's in a calm position here. She's not tense and not jittery before she hits the ball. Let's look at the volley in motion now. Notice how Lucy brings the paddle back very little or almost no backswing on it. She just puts the paddle and gets it ready to hit the ball. And notice how she also separates her left hand from her paddle. So she does as she pulls her left hand away. You can choose here whether you want to hit a two-handed. Some people hit a two-handed uh, backhand volley there. That's fine. If you want to hit a one-handed backhand volley, you want to do it the way Lucy does, which is to pull your off hand away. By pulling the off hand away, you create balance in your shot between the two hands. And then you'll see how she basically finishes the shot with a little tiny motion forward and then gets reset back to the ready position. Let's look at it one more time from the side. You see how Lucy's prepared. She's tracking the ball, good weight, brings the paddle up to the ball, finishes with a little swing, and then gets back to the ready position. From the front, you can see how compact the stroke is. You can also see how Lucy keeps her balance and uses her offhand to create a good weight distribution on the stroke. From this angle, what you can see here also is how compact the stroke is. It's just a very nice compact stroke, repeatable and consistent. All right, you may say it's easy to do that in a practice setting. Let's see what it looks like in a real match. This is a tournament where Lucy on the other side in yellow is playing with Brian against Jack Oxler and Aaron on this side. Jack Oxler in the green is going to be basically blasting balls at Lucy. That is a very common tactic in mixed doubles tournament play where the male player on one side who has a, a big shot or a big drive will drive it at the female on the other side, hoping to break her down in the point. In this first point, you're going to see Jack take a drive from the baseline. Lucy blocks it. Jack comes forward, drives it at her again. She blocks it. The third time it goes into the net. I slowed it down to show you that Lucy's shot in this situation is exactly the same as it was in the drill. She's very calm each time. The second time, you can see how she pulls back a little bit, but what she's doing is she's raising her paddle up to where the ball's coming from. In this next point, what you're going to see is the same thing. You're going to see uh, Jack drive it at Lucy. Lucy blocks it. Jack hits it into the net. This is exactly what we talked about in the Diffuse a Banger video, which I'll link to below, which is where you basically block the drive from the aggressive player. You let them come forward and hit the next shot. If it doesn't go into the net, you simply get out of the way and let the ball go out of bounds. And the last point we're going to look at, I want to show you that you can use the block volley when you're attacked from the no volley zone as well. In this point, you'll see how Aaron attacks Lucy from the no volley zone, so it's a shorter distance. Lucy still does the block volley uh, to basically neutralize the attack and ultimately win the point. What you'll see is Lucy lifts up a little bit here, 
Uh, same thing as before, she's giving herself time and she's also raising the paddle up to where the ball is so she can make contact with it, but she's using as little motion as possible in order to intercept the ball and to redirect it. She redirects it and takes up enough energy that the ball is dipping as it comes across the net. So when Jack makes contact with it, it's underneath the net and he has to lift it, ends up hitting it out of bounds. We come out of the sun, it's brutally hot out there. We were doing the block volleys, but I wanted to chat with Lucy for a little bit about the block volley and her techniques and her thoughts on the block volley. So Lucy, let me ask you on the, the block volley that you execute so well, uh, what are you thinking or what, how are you approaching the shot when you have somebody who you know is gonna absolutely blister that ball? How do you get ready to receive that shot? Yeah, so um, a lot of people, as soon as they see somebody wind up who they know can hit really hard, the first thing they do is panic. And it's completely the opposite. You really have to relax and just be focused on everything they're doing. Watching the ball, watching their paddle, watching their shoulder, shoulder angle, how they're standing. And you have to be patient and wait till they hit it, but at the same time, you have to almost predict from their body language what they're gonna do with that ball. So um, you actually have a lot more time than you think when the, you know, when the player hits the ball. If you're relaxed, you have plenty of time to get to the right position in order to block the ball. If you panic, you don't. What about in terms of uh, your, your grip or your paddle position uh, at the time of contact? How do you approach that part of the shot? Okay, so one of the things that's really important when you're blocking the ball is that the ball doesn't pop up. So a lot of times, especially if you're, the ball's coming to your backhand, which it mostly is, because a lot of the balls are your backhand, not too much can be blocked from your forehand. Um, if your paddle is angled up, if the face is open, then it's gonna pop up. The other thing is if you panic and the ball comes at you too fast and you don't have enough time and you kind of jerk back, it's also gonna go up. So one of the things that's really important when you're, when you're there um, is to hold your paddle tight so it doesn't you know, kind of give when the ball hits it, but to also try and angle it forwards um, so that the ball goes down. It's actually a really uncomfortable position. You can't really stand there and hold the paddle like that. Right. Um, but when the ball comes right to your paddle, you have to try and angle it down. So you're rotating the paddle a little bit down in order to avoid a pop-up and get a better direction yes. on the shot. Okay. Yeah, I'd say for 99% of the shots, you always want the ball to hit the ground before it gets to the other player. Again, Lucy Kitra has a, a fantastic block volley, so if you can take some of what she's saying and bring it into your game, your game will definitely improve, so give it a try. A lot, of, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Let's get into it. Like that? Like this? Like that. All right. 